Hey everyone, uh, this is my first sort of video like this. i uh, just gotten in the Max Oak Blue Eddy AC200P last night. I opened the box, uh, went through it a little bit, played around. Um, now I'm going to give you my first impressions and uh, go from there and, and show you what I think about it. Uh, I had the EB240 a while ago, ended up getting rid of it just at the, because at the time I didn't need it. But um, this is my first sort of video like this, so here we go. First, I want to talk about the packaging. Um, here's the box that the AC200 is in, but that's not what it came in. It also came with this box on the outside. Super thick, super heavy. Oh, there's my son's little toy in there. That didn't come with it. He put that in there. But... As far as packaging, packaging goes, they definitely spared no expense on anything. Um, get in, open it up. You got your warranty card, two year warranty, which isn't bad. This little pouch with your cords for your, um, your MC4 connectors for your solar. The plug that goes into the Blue Eddy, and I believe the yeah the actual power board that connects to the brick is in there too, and also for the car charging, there's a con connector in there for that too. And I've seen on some review videos that they talk about how big this brick is, and you don't really realize it until you get the thing, and it's huge. But I'm gonna guess it has to be. I think it's rated for 400 watts input, something like that, but it is rather large. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the AC200P out and go through it from there. Speaking of packaging again, how thick this foam is. I mean, that's every bit of six, eight inches thick at least. So you know that this unit isn't going anywhere in its trip over from China. And what I do like too is they did put a plastic bag around it as well to help protect it from any scratches or maybe anything that could possibly get in there, which I think is really nice. And here we have it. Um, if you ask me, I think this thing's beautiful. I love the way the gray plastic hits the black all over. It's universal. I think it's made out of high quality, thick plastics. They don't feel like they give any at all. Um, and as far as the output goes, you have your AC output. It's 200 watt in, two, excuse me, 2,000 watt inverter, uh, pure sine wave, which means you don't have to worry about plugging up any of your sensitive computers, stuff like that. It won't, won't damage it at all. Your USB outlets, USB A's, I believe they are, USB C for cell phones. I think some MacBooks are doing them now. Uh, these, these little DC outputs, I believe, are for some CPAP machines. You can get a connection that has that, so you can run directly off the DC instead of going through the AC. The 12-volt outlet cigarette lighter, which is what I am going to use, I think, mainly until I get an AC50S for my 12-volt fridge. And then the 25-amp 12-volt output, which I'm waiting for Blue Eddy to come back with their aviation plug so I can get into some home backup sort of situations with that. Um, then the inputs here on the side, the AC input for the power block, you plug the adapter into that little port there, 8 millimeter I believe is what it is. And then for solar and your car charging, use this with a different adapter. Um, what's nice about this is if you have solar panels and the charging block, you can actually charge both at the same time so you'll be getting your 400 watts of your AC input going in the charge and then whatever you may have hooked up to solar so you can have uh, up to 700 watts of solar coming in to 400 is 1100 watts which will get this big 2000 watt hour power station charged up pretty quickly all right turning this thing on you just push the power button it'll come up say blue eddy initializing and then I know first thing, if you want to charge it with the power block, um, I've seen this on some other videos. The first thing you have to do is go to settings, go to input source here and PV. 
if this other one is for your car charging and solar. So to charge with the other input from, from, from a regular outlet, you have to go to PV. Otherwise, it will shoot back an error code saying that it can't charge it. So if you go to next or back, I'll take you all the way back out to the main screen. So turn on the DC power, hit the little DC, and then it will ask you output. You just hit on. Same with AC. On. And then right now, everything is ready to be used. Um, what I really like about it, too, is they have two wireless 15-watt chargers for tablets or cell phones. Uh, I can't show you, obviously, right now because I'm using my cell phone. But um, that's really nice. If your phone's equipped with that, you don't have to worry about carrying out cords and stuff like that and taking up some ports or some outlets that you uh, may use for something else. Um, but that's all I have for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get it charged up and um, do some test runs on some different things that I have here at home. Uh, and uh, probably show you guys how I'm going to use it uh, more times than not. Speaking of charging, uh, if you see here, the LED light is green, which basically means there's no power going from through here. It's not charging anything, because obviously I haven't plugged it in yet. So when I come over here, plug it in, takes about four or five seconds or so. You'll hear a click from the AC. There it goes. And a couple seconds later, that light will turn red right there, which means now that it is powering the AC 200P. So I'm, right now I'm sitting at 63% with 474 watts coming in, which I thought it was a 400 watt charger. So I'm so actually almost five, um, a little over half charge with a 200 or 2,000 watt battery. Should be right around two hours, maybe a little less, and it should be charged up. Uh, once it's charged, I'll um, do some tests on it and show you guys how probably I'll primarily use it, at least for the time being, so we can uh, go from there. I've decided that for this video um, and for the AC200P, I'm not going to get too technical as far as uh, inverter inefficiencies and that sort of thing. Um, there's a lot of great, awesome reviews out there that already do that uh, for this one specifically. Um, it's a pretty efficient inverter. I believe it's around 85%. So out of the 2,000 watt hour battery that's in here, you're going to get quite a bit of use out of it. Um, and I know a lot of people mentioned too, this is rated for 3,000 cycles. Um, with that being said, it's not dead after 3,000 cycles. Just the top 10 per, 20%, excuse me, 20%. Um, is lost after 3,000 cycles. But if I was to cycle this thing from that from 100% to 0% once a day every day, that would take me nine and a half years. So this thing is good for a really long time. Um, it should be good for years and years and years of use um, for anybody who needs it. And I'm hoping that's what it does for me. One thing that I wanted to touch on that I forgot to do, but while this is charging. I thought I'd mention that this thing is not light. Uh, it comes in around 61 pounds. For the size of the battery and how heavy it is, it's pretty compact as to the distance apart from these pretty heavy duty handles here. Which I think because they're so close and you can kind of carry them with your elbows in and you're not stretched way out, it's actually a manageable 60 pounds. Alright, the AC200P has a full charge. Um, I'm just going to go through a couple different scenarios here, probably just with some kitchen appliances to see what it can and can't run. Uh, maybe see if we can trip it and maybe throw some wattage at this thing. Uh, right now, first, I have my microwave hooked up. It is a 1000 watt Hamilton Beach microwave. Um, as I mentioned before, I had the EB240, and I tried hooking it up to here, not realizing that with microwaves, even though if it's rated for 1,000 watts, it might be 1,400, 1,500 watts, you know, at the outlet. You know, it's 1,000 watts actually in here, but because of the inefficiencies in the microwaves, it loses it a lot. Um, and the EB240 uh, barely ran it, so I don't know what this thing actually puts out. 
we are going to test it and see. I'm just going to hit start. All right, and it looks like we are around 17, 1800 watts. Um, I heard the fans kick on on the AC200P right here, but running it pretty flawlessly. Uh, that's one thing with the AC200, or excuse me, with the EB240, it would surge. It would, it would, it would try to surge, and it would kick off, and it would surge. Um, but knowing that this thing can run this microwave just flawlessly is amazing. Here we have my Keurig. Um, I'm not sure what kind of power this needs. I know when I had my EB240, um, as soon as I hit power right there, it just completely shut down and didn't even try to run it. So I'm not sure exactly what this puts out, but hopefully we can find out. So I'm going to push the power button and keep the video here. Looks like 1400 watts, which is kind of surprising that the EB240 halfway ran my microwave but didn't even touch this. Hmm. I wonder if it's not a constant power source with the microwave. Maybe that's it. But impressed that it runs that as well. And I know I don't need to test it because I know it's going to be able to. But this Traeger right here was one of the reasons why I really wanted to get a portable power station. Camping trips, stuff on the road, it's going to be awesome. This was another reason why I wanted the AC200P. I have this Dometic CFX375DZ. It is a 12 volt fridge or also a regular AC fridge, but I'm going to plug it in 12 volt. I don't know what it draws, but I'm kind of curious to see how long I can run that solely off of this Buetti. Plugged in. All right, we are on. There's nothing in here. Nothing in that one. Nothing in this one. It's been sitting in my basement for a couple of weeks since we used it. Um, I just want to see how much power it draws from the Blue Eddy. Um, but obviously once it's already cooled down, like at home, and filled with food, it will be much more efficient than it is empty, warm inside. It looks like with both compartments running, 40 watts. Wow. That is one efficient fridge. That will last a long time on a charge. That is impressive. And one thing I failed to mention too, that this 12 volt outlet is regulated. So whether this battery is 100% or 20%, I will always get the same volts to here and I won't have to worry about this turning off because the voltage gets too low. All right, so I currently plugged in the same fridge with the AC outlet and it's actually running at lower wattages than the DC. Um, if someone could please explain why maybe in the comments uh, I thought uh, DC was more efficient but it seems to be that it's hopping between about 45 and 60 watts as the fridge is running. Um, if you could just let me know because I'm not sure. Thanks. I think that's going to conclude my video for now on the AC200P. Um, overall, I'm impressed. It'll run anything you throw at it, even the higher wattage appliances. Uh, as long as you don't overdo it and go over that 2,000 watt hours or 2,800 watt hours for two minutes, um, it's solid. I mean, it runs everything on command instantly. And like I said, the build quality looks amazing. Everything is great on it. Uh, so let me know what you think. If you have one, uh, 
drop a comment in the comment section and we will see you on the next one.